Hi, I'm Yaddy. Welcome to Meet Me at the Corner. I'm on the corner of 42nd and Broadway, better known as Times Square. This is the heart of the theater district and home to over 30 theaters. The theater signs light up the city. Successful plays and musicals stay at the same theater for months and even years. The curtain comes up every night at 8 p.m. from Tuesday through Saturday with afternoon performances on Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. Today we're going to talk to Lon Hoyt, musical conductor of Hairspray. We're going to talk to him about his life as a musical director and what it's like being a musical director of one of Broadway's biggest hits. Come on, let's go in. All right, come on in. What is musical theater? Musical theater is the marriage of words, music, and song. So two characters will be talking in the scene and they can't help themselves but they burst into song. There are three parts of a musical. Music, lyrics, and book. Can you tell us about these? Well, the music's pretty self-explanatory. The lyrics are the words that go along with the songs, and the book is all the spoken words that doesn't have music underneath it. What is the job of a musical director? I conduct about seven out of the eight shows a week, and I take notes to make sure on the eighth performance that everyone's still doing the same singing. All the parts are the same. The trombone player is playing the same parts. The drummer is playing the same thing. And then, when somebody new comes in the show, it's my job to teach them the music. So, as music director, I keep the music the way the composer wanted it and make sure that all the new people and all the old people are still singing the correct music. How is this different from being the actual director of the show? The director has a bigger job. He's got to take all the acting, all the music, all the scenery, all the costumes and basically take a whole bunch of different things and mix them up in a big pot and then come out with production. What got you interested in musical theater? When I was growing up, I was the piano player in my group of friends, and that led to me playing for people who wanted to sing. And I came to New York to be an actor, and I played piano at the same time. And gradually, I was getting more and more work playing piano for people who wanted to sing. And then that led to work playing in shows for people who sang. And it became something I fell into as a music director. And Hairspray kind of made me a permanent music director. What advice would you give to kids that want to be in musical theater? If you really want to do it, if you have that desire, then follow your heart's desire. Get in as many musicals as you can, do as much as you can, take as many classes, whether it's singing, dancing, acting, acrobatics, anything that you can do to just keep doing things that are involved with musicals. The more you do it, the better you get, and the more that you do musicals, the more you'll find out, is this really what I want to do? And most times it is. So, you have to follow your desires. What are the instruments used in Hairspray? Well, we have 15 musicians in our orchestra. Uh, there's a drummer, there's a bass player, there are three keyboards that play various keyboard sounds as well as simulate string sounds and horn sounds. We have four horn players, two reed players, each who play different saxophones, clarinet and flute, a trumpet player, uh, and a trombone player percussion player who plays all sorts of timpanis and Latin percussion instruments and congas uh, and two violinists and a cellist. It's 15 in our band. How many people does it take to make a full house in this theater? We have 1,450 seats and a lot of shows we have 1,450 screaming people. That's it for now. See you next time. So all of the pits at Broadway show are sort of like the basement level. This is really cool. Yeah, you, a lot of people don't see this part of the show. But this is where most of the stuff happens. This is where it's interesting. Yep. That's really cool.